Good evening, and welcome back to day four of Nine Days of Christmas. Today, we will be tackling the topic of Christmas carols. Now, we'll send you over to Stu King for the history behind Christmas carols. Take it over, Stu. Hello, and welcome back to History with Stu King. Today, we will be talking about the history of carols. Now, the history of carols is not too different from the history of songs, Christmas songs, in fact. But we will be talking more about the activity of caroling in this history. So, let us start. Christmas carols were the first ever recorded Christmas songs. The very first Christmas carol was Angel's Hymn, written in 129 AD. Today, the world is full of various carols in multiple different languages. This allowed for the birth of Christmas caroling and candlelight services in the 19th century. Candlelight services, services hmm, occurred on Christmas Eve and included the lighting of candles and the singing of carols to commemorate the biblical story of the wise men following the bright light to baby Jesus. This tradition is still practiced by Catholic churches today. Now, on the other hand, Christmas caroling is when groups of people went from home to home singing Christmas carols as a service. This activity would adapt and continue throughout history. Even today, you may find Christmas carolers strolling and singing in your neighborhood. Oh, how delightful. Now that is all I have about Christmas carols and the activity of caroling. I hope you enjoyed our little history session. I will now send you back to the studio with my crew. Ta-ta! Thank you, Stu. Very cool. Now for some quirky facts from our man, Michelle Toe. Take it over, Michelle! How's it going? I didn't know we were live. Ooh. Well, uh, good thing we're talking about carols today. So here are some quirky facts about some carols. Number one, uh, if you gave all the gifts from 12 Days of Christmas, that would be 364 gifts in total. That's a lot of gifts. That's almost as many days there are in the year. And I should know. Count. All right. Number two, um... Christmas carols were originally pagan songs and sung at the winter solstice. Man, those pagans. Man, I think they came up with pages too, but I, I don't know about that. Uh, you might have to do your own research. Uh, number three. Uh, ah, yes. Uh, what are, you guys smudge this? What are you guys doing? I'm trying to read. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, where were we? Uh, earliest uh, documentation of carols was written in 1414, and that was uh, about Mary and Joseph meeting people in Jerusalem, if you know about the Bible. Um, but only a small portion of that has lived all this time, you know, like 600 years or something. All right, number four. In uh, 1647, Oliver Cromwell and Perry Perry. Heritanism um, came to power in England, and uh, the celebration of Christmas and the singing of carols just stopped. But uh, some people still did it in secret, and those people are real homies, if you know what I mean. Now, uh, number five. Original carols were about Baby Jesus. Everyone loves Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Christmas is all about Baby Jesus. But did you know that in 1864, uh, the man of Benjamin Ham, another Benjamin, another Benjamin, a uh, Benjamin Hamby wrote Up on the Housetop, which was the first carol to uh, highlight Santa Claus. Now, if you don't love the man with the beard and the belly, what are you doing with your life? Everyone loves Santa Claus and everyone loves Christmas carols. And I'm going to send it back to the studio with Michael before I keep making a fool of myself. <laughs> Have a nice day, y'all. Go ahead, Michael. The house top, reindeer fall. Thank you, Michelle. Very cool. Now, my team and I, we have put our own favorite Christmas carol list on the screen right here. 
Also, we'll have it in the bio below. Maybe some of these songs are your favorites. Maybe you've never heard of them. If you haven't heard of these songs before, go ahead and go give them a listen. I bet they're on Spotify, you can find them on YouTube. There's so many different ways to listen to these songs, so definitely go check them out. Without further ado, let's take you into the main event. Today, we have our own a cappella group singing some of your favorite Christmas carols. We hope you enjoy. Joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. O come, let us adore him. O come, let adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him in Christ the Lord. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room, and heaven and Nature and heaven and nature and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and and nature sing. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. See him in a manger lay, whom the choirs of angels praise. Mary, Joseph, lend your aid, while our hearts in love we raise. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Thank you so much for watching this video and a huge thank you to our special guests this video. Their information is down in the bio below. Also, just a reminder, we are doing a fundraiser this year with Red Nose Day. Our goal is $300 and we even have a special donator that is willing to match that goal if we reach it. So if you'd like to participate and help us reach that goal, there's a link in the bio down below where you can donate. Finally, if you didn't see yesterday's video, a link will be right here. Go check it out. Also, 
make sure to come back tomorrow night at 7 for our next video. The best way to do that is to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Thank you so much again for watching this video, and I hope you all have a lovely night. This is Michael Holstein, signing off. Good night.